Um, before I joined the police, I was a 909 call taker with the fire service based in Inverness. Um, that was a temporary job for me because um, I knew I wanted to join the police. I got my application then and then 15 years ago I got accepted. Um, my first posting was um, to Wick in Caithness. It wasn't a posting I was particularly keen, keen for when I, when I first heard the news. Um, so I came up to, to Wick and I spent three years on the shifts, as, um, two years as a probationer, one year as a substantive officer and then I applied for a post in the CID um, which is also based in Wick. I spent five and a half years there and then I came back onto shift and from there I've, I've now been promoted to sergeant. Yeah, I love Caithness, it's very scenic, it's uh, a beautiful place, um, it's a place I've grown to love, it's a place I now call my home. Um, you get a very good standard of property up here for, for not much money. So I've got a wife and two, two young children, both are primary school aged. The, the school they go to, it's because it is a rural school, it's quite a small school, um, so there's, there's not that many classes, but I think that benefits them with their education. They get good attention from the teachers um, and it's a very friendly natured environment. The, the, the children are all quite rural based. The community up here that they like to work with the police to help solve problems. So as a police officer I can, I can see a problem, I can analyse it, I can work out what the issues are and I can work with the community, I can work with the partner agencies and together we can help solve that community problem and we can actually see it physically in, on the ground, you know, it's, we can see that problem disappear. Um, and it's really, really satisfying to know that you've gone in there and made a difference to that community's issues and made, made it a better quality life for them in the, in the meantime. We try to be self-sufficient and by being based in Caithness we do get a, the opportunity to go on a lot of these specialist training courses. So um, for me, I'm a, I'm a taser officer, um, I'm a crime scene manager, I'm trained in disaster victim identification, I'm public order trained, our method of entry trained, you know, there's, there's many other courses that we can that we can all go on to, just so we have these skills up here. I've got a, I've got a nice quality of life up here, you know, I enjoy the outdoors, I go rock climbing, I play golf, um, I run the local army cadet unit in Holkirk, I run a karate club, um, and there's many more op options out there for people who want to be here to keep themselves occupied. Professionally, um, it's very challenging working in, in Caithness, because we are predominantly a rural station. We're two hours away from the main support um, teams available in Police Scotland. Um, super supervision is, is quite remote, so we do do some remote supervision. When we arrest people, we do look after our own custodies. We've got a, a cell block in Wick Police Station where the duty sergeant will look after the cell block as well as oversee the general policing duties for the day. So in that respect, it's, it can be a lot of high pressure. When things get confrontational, our nearest backup could be, you know, if you're in Wick, you've got 20 minutes from Thurzo. But if you, if both units are at a scene, you might have to wait another hour for units from further afield to come there. So it keeps you on your toes that way, having to keep a confrontational situation diffused enough until until sufficient backup arrives. If anybody is thinking to move to Caithness and having a change of scenery in policing, then I would I would say do it. You know, it's a very lovely place to be. It's a beautiful part of the world. Um, there are challenges for being up here, there are some really high, high, high pressure, high stress situations you'll find yourself in. Um, but that's balanced out with a really good work-life balance, you know. Um, when you are policing, you can see real change in these problems, in these communities, and you're making a real difference to their lives. And that's probably the most satisfying part about being here.